For this next movement, we're going to look at external rotation through the shoulder. Uh, a common issue that people have with this is that they tend to engage different parts of their shoulder that we're not trying to really work on as far as stability of the rotator cuff. So the one thing that I'm watching for as people go through this motion is if I watch this shoulder, I'm trying to make sure as they start to get past this neutral, that shoulder is pulling in this down and back direction. Because this movement is going to be geared at me engaging muscles that are down on this back side, even into my armpit. So many people will just use their deltoid as they're going through this and never really get to the back part of the rotator cuff, which is what we want. So as you see me go through this, I'm really going to be focusing on as I pull out to the side, and as soon as I get past this point, really trying to squeeze down into my armpit as I get further into this external rotation. So watching me from the front, holding this band, I start off up nice and tall, and I start off across. Now as I start to come out to the side, as I get to this point, I'm going to start squeezing this little towel roll between my elbow and my trunk as I pull my shoulder down and back, coming back across slow. Other parts of me that will want to really overwork here, right, as I switch arms so you can see from the back, is as I come out to the side, my lower back is going to want to do this. So really try and engage my lower back, maybe because my shoulder is weak. So I want to try and make sure here that as I come out to the side, I have maybe even a little bit of tension in my stomach. I start to pull the band here, and then as I get past this neutral, I really want to feel like I'm squeezing my shoulder a little bit into my armpit, but not letting my whole lower back go along for the ride. And then back in slowly. The last piece that I'll talk about here is that as I leave patients and I come back, I typically see them doing something like this, where they're taking their hand down below their elbow. I want you to make sure that your hand always stays just slightly above the height of your elbow. So as you pull out, it's really movement at the shoulder, and I don't start just doing a, a movement at my elbow. So once again, I'm up tall, maybe a little bit of tension in my stomach. As I come out here, I'm really lightly squeezing into my armpit, and then coming back in slow. Once again, all the way out, squeezing this elbow into that towel, and squeezing my armpit, and coming back in. And I should feel quite a bit of work happening right in this back area of the shoulder.